How are we going everybody? Just a quick one about citrus trees. Again, it's been all things about citrus. I've just noticed this now, and I've only had these plants in for the last six months, nine months. Being autumn, going into winter, the sun's really low. And you can see behind me, we've got the Italian stone pine, uh, pine trees there, the conifers. And the sun's not even peeking over the top. And normally it'd be straight over the top now. So what's happening here, these trees, it's, it's midday when we're filming this. They are just starting to get their sunlight on the top end there. Well, these ones down here, by two o'clock, they'll be lucky to see enough sunlight. So another thing about citrus, yes, they need the warmth because that's why they are better grown in the northern parts of Australia or northern parts of Victoria, in fact. And if you are going to grow them in a, in a small courtyard or a backyard garden, make sure you've got plenty of sunlight. Unfortunately, the way we're positioned here, we've got all these trees and the shed there that the sun really doesn't get to be able to peek through. So we're challenged with that, but we're going to persist with it. We're hoping, because it is a warm spot, but not warm enough because of the fact that the sun's not shining on the area and a little bit of discoloration. So pick a location where you can get plenty of sunlight throughout the year, especially the morning sun. These ones are going to need a liquid fertiliser, so I'm going to start feeding them up shortly and do that every two weeks. And you should do the same with your citrus, especially this time of the year. Our liquid gold eco butch is all they need to green them up and fatten them up and get them ready for springtime. Now, a lot of emails have come through about pruning citrus, when to prune, because we did a segment yesterday or the day before on pruning fruit trees. And I talked about the winter prune, whereas with citrus trees, you don't necessarily do a prune at a particular time of the year. You don't prune the whole tree at one go or in one go because it puts a lot of energy back into growing what happens there is rather than getting a nice balanced shape you get this all this upright growth at once and it becomes a shrub again so pruning a citrus is not like your typical pruning of a fruit tree you would prune a little bit throughout the course of the year so you do a little prune here and the next month or a month after that you do another prune uh, on small trees slightly different because there's not many to many things to prune off them as far as branches are concerned so you can prune that for example this one take two or three prunes just to bring it back down to height so everything else catches up that's okay but on a large tree well, if you've got a 10-year-old tree and it's really dense in the middle, start working on taking out the middle. I can assure you when you do that, if you do too much, you're going to get a lot of upright growth coming through, which is going to be non-productive. And that's the thing about citrus, like all fruit trees, all the upright growth and even olive trees, and we'll show you that as well, that when you get this upright growth, it's very little production on it, very little flowers and or fruit coming off that. You need an open vase shape, sort of espalier-like or just open so the horizontal or lateral branches that you establish is where you'll get your fruit from. So prune a citrus throughout the year rather than all in one go. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. Plenty of specials, but easy.